Hi, guess what we're doing today? This is a, uh, <laughs> saying hello to the puppies. It's Satan making day. Hey, old Satan. It's recipe day and today I am making Satan, which is um, wheat meat. What do we got? What do we got on the table? Can you see all this? Can you see it? I think we have to back up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so with Satan, really bottom line, all you need is vital wheat gluten and water. But then, you know, like that wouldn't be very tasty. So my goal here is to make beefless dip. So I kind of want my stuff beefy. So I've got two cups of vital wheat gluten and I've got a half a cup of nutritional yeast. And then I have a bowl full of different spices, which I'm not telling you because this is going to be my secret recipe. Hmm, take that. I have the oven preheating. It's at 325. This is going to bake for an hour, I think. Let's check the recipe. It's going to bake for 90 minutes. Okay. Dry ingredients are mixed well. Now for wet ingredients, for flavor, I decided to use Campbell's Faux. This stuff, this stuff is a bomb. I actually make faux with this. It is incredible. Buy it. Delicious. And then I also used uh, Bragg's all-purpose seasoning. The amino acids. Delicious. Has a soy sauce flavor to it. Really, really yummy. So that's what we're using for liquids. As well as ketchup. For some reason, they say that tomato flavor will make it a more beefy flavor. I don't know. I find that hard to believe, but okay. Now, I never use ketchup, which is why I have a little teeny tiny bottle. Whenever I go to a hotel and I order room service, I will steal the ketchup. I have literally been working on this bottle for about a year. But if this recipe turns out well, then I think I'm going to have to buy me some ketchup. And I'm going to start incorporating the liquid into the dry. And once we've got it all incorporated, we're going to turn it out and knead it. Because this is a dough. You want to work fairly quickly. Because as it starts processing, the gluten starts activating and it becomes really solid and hard to work with. And that's when we're going to need it. So you can see the dry has been incorporated into the wet or vice versa. Sprinkle a little bit of vital wheat gluten onto my surface. And turn this out. And start kneading our dough. So what this is doing is it's activating the wheat gluten and it's going to make it tougher, which is what I want because I'm making a beefy a beefy seitan. So I actually want it to be nice and tough. One of the things I really miss from the meat world is that good chew. You know, like there was nothing like the good chew of a steak. I'll be the first to admit it. Now, I'm not going to eat a steak. I do not eat sentient beings. You want to knead this for about eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. All right, let's go. You want to then let it rest 
for 10 minutes and then knead it again. That gets the gluten really activated, doing its thing. Okay, time to wrap this bad boy. We've kneaded it, we've let it set, we've kneaded it again. Now, shaping it into a loaf, I guess. The baking does produce a tougher seitan. Again, that's what I want. So I'm sticking with that. It worked for me. So I'm gonna keep it at that one. Wrap that up nice and tight. There we go. So I'm gonna put that in the oven directly on the rack. We put it directly on the rack for 90 minutes and turning it over halfway through. So that's it. That's how you make seitan. Really, really easy. Just vinyl wheat gluten and water flavored however you want to flavor it. That's, that's it. Silly easy and then baking for 90 minutes. When I take it out and I've let it cool, I will come back and show you how it slices. All right, stay tuned. Okay, we're back and the seitan is done. It's pulled out of the oven. It's still hot. It's supposed to be cooling. Cool the heat really well. There we go. That is a solid, <laughs> solid piece of something. Solid piece of wheat meat. <laughs> you should see Logan looking at it right now. Only time I, only time I tried seitan was that um, the beef, beefless beef jerky that we. Oh yeah, no, and that was not good. No, so. <laughs> is he a little nervous? A little bit. Yeah. As with all vegan ingredients, as I always say, as an ingredient, not an unto its own. So this slices beautifully. You can slice it really thin for sandwiches. You can slice it thicker if you want like a steak idea. Can you eat it right now? <laughs> yes, it's cooked. Yoink. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Make that the jerky. I tried. It's pretty much jerky on its own right now. That's pretty good. That's gonna be really good in a ciabatta bun. That's gonna be like a garlic buttered and vegan butter, of course. Um, I'm gonna bake the ciabatta buns uh, with garlic butter and fill them with this, and then dip in faux au jus. Hmm. That's actually really good. It's got a really nice kick and it's got a really nice texture. Mm. Okay. It's actually kind of like meat. Kind of like meat. <coughs> kind of like meat. Did you hear that? <laughs> Yay. Okay. That's it. I'm going to keep placing this. And you all hit that like button and subscribe. Come find me on Facebook, Accidentally Vegan D. Come find me on Instagram. Same name. You have an amazing day. Namaste. <laughs>